Hi folks, Bob Collins for Diver Supply. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about cases from a company called Nanook. Now, these cases are mainly uh, created or made for first responders or military types, um, they, those professions that need a case that's uh, almost indestructible. Uh, can they be destroyed? Of course they can be destroyed with enough effort. But with reasonable effort and reasonable protection, these are pretty impregnable. These larger cases like this one that I've got, this is called the 920, and there's a ton of different sizes. And of course, I'm gonna put a link down below for, um, for you to be able to go and see them on the Diver Supply website. And of course, we can help you order any of these that you may happen to, to need. We ordered one with the wheels, and I have to say, of all the wheel cases that I've seen out there, it was, it was pretty damn impressive. Excuse my French. But um, the wheels, it actually had double wheels, not just a wheel on each side, but two wheels and two wheels. So um, it was right um, robust, I guess is a, a good word to call it. These are everything that you would expect them to be. They're waterproof, they're dustproof, um, that sort of thing. And um, the company Nanuk utilizes some unique little words for some of their different parts and pieces. These closures, they actually call this a power claw. And it's interesting because what you're going to see right here and I'll try to get this turned, you're gonna see an actuator that you pull down and then you can open the power claw. And this unit has a O-ring seal around the top where it seals in. And this particular 920, uh, what I did when we got this one in, this is one without anything inside. It can come with uh, dividers, it can come padded. Uh, there's a number of different ways that you can get the inside. Most of the divers tend to like them just open like what this one is. This one does have, and it's an optional item, and you'll see I kind of tilt it out here. This is an optional case lid, and this can be um, put in and attached. It's got some Velcro openers and closers right here, and it screws into the top that provides extra storage. Now this is very similar to my camera case, and many photographers have adapted to using the Nanook cases out there with the, um, you know, with the, the foam in them, and then they pull out what they need so that their lenses and camera bodies or in a diver's case, cameras and lenses or whatever, and or regulators or computers or whatever your, whatever your need is as far as the case is concerned. They come in a uh, plethora, I like that word, plethora, a whole bunch of different colors. Uh, so if you go to the website, you'll see all the different colors that they're available in from very, very bright to very subdued type colors. One of the things I, I, I really like this because I use this, like I started to say a minute ago, in my camera case so that I can carry small things. I mean, for a diver, this would be a good place to carry a, an Allen wrench for your maybe your den um, plug on your tank. It'd be a great place to carry a save a dive kit. So you've got lots of different things. And this actually, if you pull this up right here, this whole thing will tilt out so that you've got place back there if you were utilizing uh, maybe some kind of a training manual or something, you could slip that by, back there. 
They make these in a small version, a medium version, a large version, a giant version. So there's a whole lot of these out there and they are relatively lightweight. What I've got inside here is what's known as the Nano Nanook cases. These are not made out of the resin material. These are made out of a polycarbonate type material and they utilize the power claw. I'm gonna to try to position this so everybody can see this pretty easy. And again, these come in some pretty, pretty wild, impressive colors. Uh, everything from translucent, so you can see what's in there, to opaque. This white one is an opaque one, and they've got black if you wanted more subdued colors. And these, these are not waterproof. These are waterproof. The big ones are waterproof. This is not waterproof. It's considered water resistant. And it's got some neat features. I'm going to flip this up, push the little deal in, lift the power claw up, open up the case. And what we've got in here, they come with a little extra strap, like what you see here that connects and you're able to attach this maybe in your kayak or something so that you don't lose it. Of course, if it comes out in the water, it, it should float. It's, uh, again, it's not waterproof, it's water resistant. And some of the interesting thing, there's kind of an impact resistant uh, insert that's attached to the polycarbonate and this comes up in the sides. So you could put, depending on the size, uh, smartphone or whatever uh, you want to call it, your cell phone, your mobile phone, whatever you're calling it, uh, there's different sizes and it should fit in here. And then there is a suspension part right here that's like a web. And what I've seen people do is take their smartphone and actually put it in here and point the, um, the front or the uh, screen toward the front. These also come in some different sizes. This is the 330, uh, the orange one here is a three, what we call a 320, and the white one is a 310. So there are some different sizes of the nano cases. So I wanted to show these to you folks. Um, even if you're not a diver, you might, um, might want one of these if you're a hiker or whatever. You know, you can always keep your car keys or whatever you needed to. Uh, I've got one of these that I keep in my camera case because I want to make sure that it stays water, you know, away from moisture and stuff. I keep my extra HDMI cables and some of my extra SD cards inside one of the, the nano cases. So again, if you're new here, please reach down and hit the subscribe button. And as always, we appreciate you folks visiting the channel. And uh, if you use a, nan a Nanook case, either the Nano or the full-size case, uh, leave us a comment down below. People really enjoy reading your, your comments, and, and of course, I enjoy responding to them as best I can. So again, I'm Bob Collins for Diver Supply. Thanks for watching. Dive safe out there, or be safe out there. See you again soon.